Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Cal MacDonald, the Minister of the Park Church in Giftock. Good afternoon to you. Pleasure for me to be here, and I thank you for this opportunity. It was this time last year that I was in Gulu in northern Uganda. I visited an old friend there who has been working as a missionary, working with those who are living in the most extreme poverty circumstances, a nation that's recovering from a horrendous period of civil war. While there, <clears throat> I had the honour of preaching to some 300 inmates at Gulu Men's Prison. Here I am a year later in these hallowed halls, speaking to those who sit at the heart of the Scottish political scene, and I stand before you unclear as to which has been the greater privilege of the two. What could this wee boy from Maryhill in Glasgow, as he grew up, what could he share today? The same wee boy who, for himself, recognised the importance and the relevance of Christian faith for daily life and living. Who later on would follow what he felt was the call of God to enter the ordained ministry of the Church of Scotland, serving as one of its parish ministers. What could he possibly offer for reflection this day? Perhaps the best thing I could suggest, or at least one of the things I could suggest, is the axiom that was passed on to me from a minister I worked with. He used to say, learn to agree to disagree without being disagreeable. And I've used that as a maxim to live by in the life and the worship of the church. I believe it's a principle that has ironically held the Church of Scotland in unity, particularly in recent times. I believe it's also a principle that applies to the political world of democratic debate and practice. All the more so as we move forward from a referendum to a national election. Some will of course say that this is naive for the world of politics is a dirty business. That may be so in some instances, but agreeing to disagree without being disagreeable is a goal perhaps that may just exceed our grasp, but it remains a precious ideal to aspire to. Anything outside that ideal is really a haven for discrimination. The late Reverend Peter Marshall, a Scot, who emigrated and eventually became chaplain to the US Senate, he in one of his great prayers to the leaders of the nation said, so may we together seek happiness for all our citizens in the name of him who created us all equal in his sight. I read the words of the Apostle Paul in that statement. For the Apostle Paul in writing to the Romans, he wrote, we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbours for their good, to build them up. Agreeing to disagree without being disagreeable, a maxim we can all take on board. May God bless the decisions, the debate, and the deliberations that are made this week. Thank you. The next item of business is consideration of business motion number one.